Hey guys, what's up and welcome to my Hackintosh budget project. Throughout the series I'm going to be showing you a variety of different tips, tutorials and products that I'm going to be specifically using for this particular build. Although it has nothing to do with the actual build, I did just buy this, the Blue Snowball microphone, which will be used to voice over all of my videos from now on. If you're interested in more content regarding this microphone, be sure to comment down below and tell me what you're interested in. The unboxing is also in the bottom left corner of this shot, so make sure you go ahead and watch that if you're interested. For the power supply I went for a standard 500 watt OCZ Core Extreme. It's a very basic type of power supply and it only cost me around £30 so that's the reason I went for it. I have been using this power supply on my previous PC and have no reason for upgrading so that's why I'm sticking with it. I also don't want to spend another £60 on a power supply just because it says Corsair on the side. For the motherboard I've chosen a Z87HD3 by Gigabyte with support for the latest 4th generation Haswell processors. It has a vast array of USB 3 inputs and looks relatively nice and simple. The main reason for choosing this board is because of its great support with being used for a Hackintosh project at such a low price, because usually boards that are supported for doing a Hackintosh are usually fairly expensive. Moving on to the graphics card, I'm using an EVGA GeForce GTX 550Ti by NVIDIA. It's a great card for the price and I really don't need anything major as I'm just going to be doing a small amount of video editing for my YouTube channel and some light gaming. Just like the power supply, I've taken this RAM straight out of my old computer, but you can buy a decent amount of DDR3 RAM for about £40 now. It's basic Samsung DDR3 RAM at 1300MHz and I've got 6 gigs of it. RAM is so cheap now you could basically go and get loads of it, but I just didn't need it. Like a lot of PC builders on YouTube, I haven't gone for a lot of SSDs. The main reason is because they're expensive and I really need the storage space rather than the speed. So what I've got is a Western Digital Caviar Blue SATA hard drive. Obviously it's SATA, there's no point in me going for an IDE hard drive now is there. It's 1TB and has a 64 meg cache. For the heart of this Hackintosh I have the Intel i5 4440 using the LGA 1150 socket. It's running at 3.10GHz which is a little slower than the awesome 4670K but I didn't need the extra power and didn't really have the money just so I could overclock it. Therefore for now I will be using the stock heatsink as well. Last but not least I bought the Corsair Carbide Series 300R Windowed Edition case. It's a very simple case and I really like that because I'm a really big fan of Apple despite doing a Hackintosh. But anyway, thanks for watching, make sure you subscribe down below to make sure that you watch all the parts of this Hackintosh build, and I'll see you guys in my next video.